Hello, Cougars. Welcome back to Cougar News. My name is Melanie. My name is Johnny. Our Mean Girls production starts next week. Here's Brianna with more. Hey, Cougars. Granite Hills High production of Mean Girls will be next week. Today, we're here to interview some of the cast members. So what are your roles? I play Damien. And I play Janice. And what was your favorite part of getting ready for the show? Definitely the dancing. Uh, I'm one of the two dance captains on the production, so it was really nice to be able to kind of help everyone with the dance and put my input into the choreography. I definitely say the singing. I love singing. It's like been a part of my life ever since I was born. And um, the trust falls. <laughs> and why do you think people should come and see the show? The show has a really nice message, and it's fun overall. The fight scenes, they're, they're awesome. Great, great. Thank you. So what are your roles? I'm Aaron. And I'm Katie. And what was your favorite part of getting ready for the show? I really liked like all the learning of like the super cool like dance moves we do because we do a lot of crazy stuff. It's really hype. I loved the dancing too, but I also loved the singing. Both aspects of those were amazing. Our harmonies are coming along so well. I'm so proud of everybody. And our dancing, I feel like everyone's developed as a dancer somewhat in the show and it's amazing. I just love watching it all happen. That's great, thank you guys. So what are your roles? I'm Gretchen. Regina George. Karen Smith. And what was your favorite part of getting ready for this show? Honestly, my favorite part is the blocking. I really like putting the scenes together and just seeing it transform into something other than words on a page. I liked um, the singing. There's like my, Regina George, her part has so many amazing songs, like Someone Gets Hurt and World Burn. And I, can't, I was having fun learning them. I like the dancing because I'm the second dance captain. So I've got to be in everything even I'm not in it for the show. So it's really fun. That's great. And why do you think people should come and see this show? It's going to be an amazing an amazing production. I feel like it's going to be one of the best that we've ever put on and it's it's just going to be like awesome. Yeah. Dude, we've all worked so hard and the fight scenes and the music and the dancing is just going to be amazing. It's iconic. It's Mean Girls. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Come see Mean Girls April 12th at 7, April 13th at 2 and 7, and the same th times the other week at the 19th at 7, and then April 20th at 2 and 7. Come, come see, see Mean Girls! Girls! So come show support for the next couple of weekends. For Cougar News, I'm Brianna Porter. For sports, Marisol went to check on our amazing golf team. Hey Cougars, let's go check up on our golf team. How's the season going so far for you? So far it's going good. Uh, my game's definitely gotten better. I got new clubs so far. I should be shooting like a six, five over by the end of the season on a regular. That's my goal. What's your favorite memory? Probably CIF. That was a really nice course. Thank you. How's the season going so far for you? It's going great. We are 2-0 and right now. Do you have a favorite memory? Uh, when I was pelted in the back with a golf ball, obviously. Thank you. Can you tell us how the season is going? Uh, I think it's going really good. I think we have a great team, lots of new people. I think they're all uh, doing pretty well, pretty fast. So, Do you have a favorite memory? Um, I think, like, everybody on the team is just, like, very uh, interesting, and they're all very unique in their own way. So I think just being able to interact with all of them has been something that I really like. Thank you. Can you tell me how the season's going? The season's going great, actually. Uh, we're 2-0 and in uh, league so far. Hopefully to be 3-0 and today. Do you have a favorite memory? When uh, I played in the tournament at Spring Valley Lake against Oak Hills and Ace. Nice. Thank you. How's the season going so far? The uh, season's going great. We're 2-0 and right now. 2-0 um, in league, and uh, we're all getting better, the uh, team. Do you have a favorite memory? Uh, I think overall, just my entire time here has been a great memory, making new friends. It's been pretty fun. That's great. Thank you. Can you tell us how the season is going so far? So the season's going really well. We're 2-0 and as a team. We're hoping to go to 3-0 and today. We've got a lot of youth, a lot of talent on our team, and we're getting better and better every day, so it's great. Do you have any favorite memories? Uh, you know, as a coach, my favorite memory this year is seeing the kids that started with us in January 
get better to the point now where we have six to eight kids who can play varsity golf every week. Thank you. Can you tell us how the season is going so far? It's going very well, actually. We're looking for a league title at the moment, 2-0 and right now. Our big opponent is Victorville today. Hopefully we could take away a league title from this. Any favorite memories? Well, golf is a very short-term memory thing, so unfortunately I do not have one for you. Thank you. That's all for this week. For Cougar News, I'm Marisol. On Monday, April 8th, we're going to have a solar eclipse. Are you ready? On Monday, we're having a solar eclipse. Make sure you don't look directly at the sun. Can you tell us a little about the solar eclipse on Monday? Yeah, so solar eclipses are really cool events where the moon actually gets in the way of the sun. Um, you can't see them everywhere on the Earth, and they're usually contained the little spots, and since water covers most of the Earth, we don't see them that often on land. Um, they do happen about once every 16 months, but when we can be in the right place at the right time, it's an exciting thing. Um, a few things to know is that you won't always see the entire solar eclipse where you're at. Um, for us, we're only going to see about 50%, but if you're near Texas or the Midwest, um, kind of on the East Coast, they're going to see the whole thing. So it's an exciting uh, opportunity that we just don't get very often in our lifetimes. Are you guys excited for the solar eclipse on Monday? Yeah, I think I'm going to be pretty excited. It's going to be dark. Yeah, I'm pretty excited, you know. Um, I'm going to see if my dad will get those glasses on time. <laughs> All right, thank you. Are you excited for the solar eclipse on Monday? Yeah, I feel like it'll be pretty cool. It'll be like all dark out. And uh, seeing, maybe you won't be able to stare at it, but I'll probably get some glasses for it or something. All right, thank you. Are you guys excited for the solar eclipse on Monday? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, it doesn't happen that often, so it'll be fun to see it. Uh, I didn't know what's happening, but I guess so, yes, very much. Okay, all right, thank you. Are you excited for the solar eclipse on Monday? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Can't wait. Yes, I am. I'm so excited. Okay, all right, thank you. Are you excited for the solar eclipse on Monday? I am. Okay, all right, thank you. Are you excited for the solar eclipse on Monday? Uh, yes. Okay, all right, thank you. What advice could you give people who want to experience this rare event? Okay, so the first thing and the most important thing I could tell you is do not look at it directly with your eyes. The sun gives off radiation and that can actually cause permanent damage or make you go blind. So you got to be very careful. That doesn't mean you can't see it though. What you can do is if you go on Amazon or probably even look around with the eclipse coming up, you can get these special classes that are called eclipse classes. And if you put them on and watch them, um, you'll still be able to see the moon cover about half of the sun. Um, and I can give you guys some times. Right now, we have it about 10.06 a.m. on Monday. It's going to start covering the sun. It'll hit the most coverage at 11.12. And then by 12.22, the eclipse will be over. So if you guys want to time it, get your glasses, get an opportunity right around 11.15 or so. Uh, check out the sun and you'll be in for a surprise. Our next solar eclipse won't be till 2044. For Cougar News, I'm Jasmine. Well, Johnny, it looks like that's all we got for this week. It seems so, Melanie. We'll update you guys next week and remind you of what's going on around our beloved world of Granite Hills High School. For now, Cougars, I'm Johnny. And I'm Melanie. And, and remember, remember, Cougars, Cougars maroon, maroon and gray, gray lead the way. Mmm, we ate that one. Oh my God, yes. Oh. Yes, Queen. Slay.